Okay, here we are inside Matrix. I'm going to uh, make a signet ring, but I'm going to do it uh, the old-fashioned way uh, because it's very helpful to know how to do this so you can do it with other shapes and do smart flow uh, designs and stuff like that. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. First, of course, I need a, a ring rail. And uh, we'll bump this one up since it's supposed to be a signet ring for a man around 11. That's fine. And we'll hit enter. Next thing I'm going to do is go and grab a, a curve. Uh, and I'm going to grab an oval. And uh, change that to yellow, of course. And creation layer. And go to F4. Draw it out so big and something like that. Uh, and then I'm going to uh, drag it up into position where I want the top of my ring. Uh, somewhere, uh, not too high. Five millimeters above, yeah, kind of small, but that's okay. Uh, and then next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, just uh, go to my arc direction tool. And I'm going to uh, draw an arc direction out here doesn't matter where you draw it because I'm going to move it. Uh, so I want to make it about three millimeter and something like that. And then I'm going to take that. Uh, yeah, Actually I'm going to go ahead and just duplicate it. Hit enter from the mid and I'm going to drag it right over to the quad on my ring rail and then hit enter and then I'll just go ahead and get rid of this one delete and then I'm going to take this one and I'm going to move it out uh, maybe a 2.5 it's it's posted and there's a negative so we want to do a, a positive because the arrow is going with that so it's going to go that direction uh, 2.5 and hit enter so now it's out there uh, and then I'm going to draw a line curve from the mid of that down to about just it doesn't really matter uh, there and I'm going to go draw from my oval uh, and out down and then I'm going to go to our perspective view and uh, draw another line from my quad uh, looking from the right side and draw it down all right, so what do we got here so far? All right, Ooh, where did that come? No, 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 okay, let's get rid of that. Uh, we wanna draw it from the quad and we'll just go to the right side this time and draw it, okay. Uh, so we have these, uh, we can go ahead and do this one. So I'll go ahead and do a, a blend uh, from, uh, well actually I want it to go out. So let's get rid of that one. Uh, I'm going to go back to my line curve and draw it from my quad into the center there like that. Alright, and then I'm going to go to my uh, blend curves, click on this curve, this end, and then down here this curve, this end. And it goes way out there, which we don't want, so we'll go to our front view and do some manipulation here. First thing I'm going to do is just go ahead and get rid of that one. And that actually looks okay. You can play around with it, but actually that's that's fine for what we're going to do right now. Uh, <coughs> Alright, so we have this going in. And now we need a uh, curve going down through our midsection here. So uh, I'll draw a line from F4 going, let's see, well let's take it and going from F4 just the one, uh, wrong direction, let's go back to the line curve F4 going from this direction here okay and then we're going to offset this curve uh, let's see about uh, mm, 3 millimeter That'll give me a six. Uh, let's do yeah, s a three. Oh, wrong direction. So I got to do a negative six. There. Okay. And then I'm going to draw another line f 
from here going right right side down all right so we have this and then I'm going to draw a uh, blend curve from this one here to this one here so it gives us our shape there all right uh, and then uh, let's see from here I'm going to draw another line from here holding down shift over to here and let's see what I want to I think from here this corner here at the end and go to my right view or left front view rather and draw it out from here okay so let's see what we got here all right and let's see we'll take uh, another blend curve from this curve over here on this side uh, to this one here okay so there we go so now we need to do a little cleanup work let's get rid of this let's get rid of that get rid of that get rid of that get rid of this get rid of that and we need to take this and split it with this one here and hit enter and get rid of that there and then we need to take this curve here and split with this one and this one and hit enter so we have that okay so now at this point let's take this and just hide it we can use that later uh, and then we have a nice little uh, Oh, there's one. Okay. Uh, nice little mess out here, right? <laughs> one, two, three, four. And we'll go ahead and take this and join it. There we go. And we'll just take all that and go to our surface and do a curve network. Select first curve. One, two, three hit enter yeah okay can't do it all right so we'll take it and we'll do a try a loft here see if that'll work uh, boy that really did some crazy stuff and that didn't work either so something's going on oh okay well that's why right there we need to get rid of that all right so let's take a let's go check all this again all right so we'll take all that and do a curved network. There we go. And let's play around with it, see what we got here. Oh, that looks pretty good. Uh, we'll take that uh, and hit enter. Oop, I don't cancel. All right, so we got this. We'll take it and put it onto a green layer. And we'll uh, give it some color there so we can kind of see it. All right, so we got this. So the next thing we want to do <coughs> is uh, mirror it. See, right now you have a surface that you can do smart flow on. So you can do all kind of patterns on this, but uh, we'll, we'll get to that an another time. Uh, right now, let's just go ahead and finish this thing out. Uh, we'll do that, we'll take that, we'll mirror it again, uh, F4, and we'll drag it on around to this side, okay? So now we have four different surfaces we're going to join together and that's going to be the shape of our ring <laughs> believe it or not and right now since they're together and they're planar we know we can just cap and so they should be capped and it should be a solid surface which it is so from here we'll just bring back out our ring rail and we'll take our ring rail and we we'll, we will go to uh, solids uh, and we will extrude that puppy out, something like that. And then we're going to do a boolean. So we'll take this one, wait for it. Uh, this is our first surface, this is our second surface, and we'll hit enter. And now we have a ring that we can work with and enter one more time. And uh, we'll get rid of that, we don't need it. Uh, this surface here, we'll go ahead and change it to gray, you never know. Come back and mess around with it. Uh, Alright, so here we go. 
the next thing we want to do is I guess we can go ahead we'll go ahead and uh, hide all our yellow for right now oh okay we'll hide our yellow and uh, we're going to go back and now explode it <laughs> we just joined it all together uh, and we're going to get rid of this thing here and we're going to get rid of this thing here now you can put another profile if you want it to uh, sweep uh, a different uh, width or whatever but we'll just go ahead and keep it like this uh, I'll type in dupe and then uh, it already has dupe edge so I'll hit enter and we want to dupe those edges and those edges and hit enter uh, and then I'm going to see if they'll join together eight curves joined to two close curves okay uh, so from here uh, we go back to our surface uh, surface one uh, from here this curve here that curve there and we hit enter and it's a little jacked up get rid of all this stuff over here uh, and we'll just go ahead and hit enter and we'll just do a little editing uh, so we'll go to our curve menu all the way down to edit curves and we'll go to our adjust closed surface or closed uh, curve and we'll hit enter on this one and we'll drag it around here and put it in the mid and we'll just keep it there looks like it got worse and we'll select this curve here hit enter drag it over to our mid and I think I can't remember which way it was so we'll try this way here first and hit enter and there we go there we go and then all you have to do is take this part and this part here this part well all green and we'll just join it together and we should have a closed surface for a signet ring <coughs> excuse me I am so sorry um, so here's our here's our ring now we hid that yellow so we'll, we'll go ahead and uh, bring back out all that stuff take this and we'll change it to blue and hide it uh, because I want I'm going to turn off my there we go that's what I want right here uh, I want these curves and then I want to join them back together and then I'll, I'll bring back out my green and uh, yeah kind of cool uh, and we'll take this curve with our gumball and we'll uh, go in here hold down shift and we'll just bring it in a little bit maybe maybe not let's try it again uh, go here hold down shift click on my gumball yep. for some reason it's not one to cooperate hold on shift oh my god please I am holding on okay so let's go in here get a good target on it but I can't see my oh my god what the hell all right well we'll just do it this way we'll just bring this over a little bit and not that far let's turn off our uh, grid snaps let's turn off our O snaps and let's just bring it in a little bit and we'll bring it in a little bit there's more than one way to skin the puppy right okay so there we go and we know it's still on our surface because we didn't alter it any so all what we can do from here is go to our surface and uh, push pull and there we go and we'll just go ahead and take that enter get rid of the screen uh, turn it on this layer and turn it off alright so now we have this see we could have uh, put some kind of design on here on a, a surface you know oh, what is it <laughs> uh, oh it's on tra transform yeah yeah auto base put an auto base and a pattern on there but uh, that'll be another time well, I want to focus on uh, today is uh, um, Jim's placer Jim placer okay so what I'm going to do right away uh, first is uh, I want to make some curves out there so I'm going to draw a couple curves so I just have some guidelines to place on help me out a little 
Uh, so I'll dupe uh, DUP uh, edge. There we go, it's on. So I'm going to go down here and dupe this edge and hit enter. And then I'm going to go to my uh, line curve and just click on the quad snap. Yeah, it's on, okay. Uh, and click from there over to this one down here. And then I'm going to do the same thing from here over to this one here. So now I have a little guidelines I can kind of look at. It's just my way of doing it. You don't necessarily have to do this. Uh, and then I'll go to my gems and I'll go to my uh, gem placer. It'll ask my surface. We're just going to take that entire surface, but there's a key here later on we're going to talk about. You can't put the prongs on there with the entire surface. It'll uh, want to put them in weird places. So uh, f we'll select our surface and press enter. And right now we have uh, stones out there. Uh, we're going to bump those up a little bit to get started. Maybe around, uh, I don't know, one eight. Yeah. And uh, we don't want the first one out there to be uh, mirrored. So we're going to turn off these mirrors here and just uh, auto place it. And it's, see, the reason why I put my, is because I can snap to those uh, lines. It just makes it a little easier, for, especially for the first stone. Uh, so I'll, I'll go ahead and dump that one out there. And then we'll turn on, uh, not our X, our Y. And right there, see, and now I, I, with the, okay, uh, the auto place is on. If I turn off the auto place, I can overlap them, right? But if I have the auto place on, it's going to keep my distance uh, a 0.15 from the stone. I can't go into the stone anymore. So, the, uh, it's a good thing to have that on, but there are times where you might want to take it off. But uh, let's go ahead and keep moving forward, and then I'm going to place these, and that one's too big, so let's go back to uh, mirror, and we'll do the four, and get, get them right in there. See, uh, you can go overlap this way, but you can't with this, so you kind of want to drag it into the corners there. There we go. All right, and then... There we go, and let's see if we can put some, eh, a little too big there. We can put one there though. Uh, so let's, uh, let's see, turn off our Y direction and snap that one in there. That one's not going to work, that one's not going to work. So we'll just have to go up and uh, lower our stones a little and see what will work. Yeah, one six will work, so let's go ahead back and s put them on all four and red means bad <laughs> uh, there and we'll drop some in there and will one go there no nah. let's uh turn off our y again or our x sorry no so we'll go back up to the top we'll drop some down a little bit See if it one four one fours will work, and not there though. So we'll go down. One one's a little bit too big. Point nines, point nines really. What if I get two point eights in there? Uh, let's go back to our uh, all four direction. Let's see if I can get two, two eight, two uh, oh eights in there. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Oh, just okay. So, uh, I probably should move these a little. Hmm. Let's go ahead and ungroup them. Ungroup, and I'll take this one and. Just kind of move it so that it's taking up this space here. And then I'll take this one, delete it, delete it, delete it. Take this one, mirror F4. It's 
sometimes you have to improvise, right? Uh, and mirror it again, F4. Okay, and then we want to join all those together. So let's uh, get all our stones and group them together. All right. Uh, could go into a gym, uh, not gym builder, but springs and see if that would have worked. Uh, or took the um, the guidelines out and maybe snuck another one in there. But this is okay. We'll just see how this works. So we've got all the prongs. Now if I go to my prongs uh, settings and try to slap on prongs here and it'll ask for my surface, you know, it's going to take that whole surface and as you can tell it's it's really uh, not good. Uh, so we're going to back out of that and what we're going to do is go to our solids and back way down here extract surface and we're going to pick that top surface there and hit enter and I'm going to change it to a different color and we'll go ahead and try this again uh, prongs settings uh, pave prongs there's our stones enter there's our surface and it does a little bit better job a little bit better job because this is a mess uh, and we'll just go ahead and I hit enter for right now and of course that's really yeah so what we're going to do is we're going to ungroup these uh, and uh, we now we can select some individual ones to get rid of uh, let's see that one kinda uh, will ungroup why is it not ungrouping Yeah, there we go. I don't know what, what the deal is with it tonight. Uh, we can take that one and just kind of move it over a little bit. And uh, we'll take this one, get rid of it, take the, and we'll take this one and move it. Actually, we'll move it over to here. That'll be a better place for it. And we'll move it over to here. Uh, we'll keep that one. We'll get rid of this one, get rid of that one. Uh, we'll take this one and move it over. Oh, okay. That one needs to be here. So let's see. Let's get rid of that one. Get rid of that one. We'll take this one, move it in a little bit. Take this one, move it in a little bit. Kind of clean up the area. Same thing with down here. Uh, actually, you could probably just mirror all that up there. Uh, take that one, get rid of it. Take th that one, get rid of it. Take that one, get rid of it. Take that one, get rid of it. Actually, let's just go ahead and clean up this entire area. And what we're going to do is just mirror those from up here. Well, let's get rid of that one. All right, so we need this one. Hold down Shift. This one. Sometimes it's a little we need this one uh, what others uh, this one here this one this one I think that might be it let's go ahead and try mirroring those F4 yeah okay there we go and I think we did we get rid of this one up here? No, it's there. Okay, we move this one over a little. Let's go ahead and mirror that to the other side so we don't forget. Hold down shift. Alright. So now we have to do a little bit of uh, cleanup work a little bit more let's get this one doesn't need to be so close to that there we go all right so we need a prong here on this one and maybe another one on that one there uh, so we'll just go up to our prongs on uh, surface and pick our surface oh first hit enter uh, 
then go to our prongs on surface select our surface and it'll automatically drop a prong it's no big deal we can manipulate or get rid of it uh, so we'll take this down to about a point six size is okay we'll keep that one there uh, where else maybe one right here and I think that's all we're going to do let's take these two oh I should have let's edit those come over here and uh, prongs meshed no I want to yeah okay uh, all right and we'll click off and hit enter we'll just take those two and mirror them F4 over to this side pick up these two here and right click mirror F4 to our other side mm -hmm. well let's take those and uh, let's go ahead and get rid of this fatty here get rid of that one get rid of that one because and we got something going on here I don't know <laughs> what that's all about I'm in perspective okay oh I got a nice one there okay and actually we could probably eh, it's all right we'll, we'll take this one move it out a little bit take this one move it out a little bit <coughs> and that should be able to take care of that everything else looks pretty good uh, yeah so uh, there you have it really uh, the only thing you need to do is take this surface here take this surface here join them back together check make sure it's one closed surface uh, add your uh, pick up your stones go to cutters stones enter drag our prongs down or our cutters some of those are a little small they probably won't cut uh, print up very well so maybe uh, make uh, make those bases a little bit thicker down here which one is it? this one I think yeah make them a little bit bigger and let's uh, change that back are they all going through yeah yeah okay and we'll go ahead and hit enter do our boolean boolean difference this is our ring hit enter this is our uh, cutting hit enter enter and if I hide my stones nothing will be changed <laughs> uh, we'll take this surface hide it and there we go and bring back our gemstones and then we'll take the purple do a boolean union this surface here enter with these prong oh with these prongs enter, enter and boom it my whole ring disappears something went wrong there huh let's undo that okay so let's take a look here what happened my prongs are in there they should be okay let's try it again something uh, went definitely wrong so let's do a, a boolean union select first surface hit enter select purple hit enter and again oh that's a nice ring there huh well what's going on here is there a purple something purple I'm not seeing let's go ahead and take all our purple and join the group them together yeah alright so let's try it one more time just sake of argument first surface enter second surface enter no it's denying me
to a Boolean difference. Negative. <laughs> uh, we'll undo that. Abort command. No idea why that's... Oh, maybe the prongs aren't deep enough, perhaps? Well, we can always fix that real easy. Just grab the blue thing there and drag them a little bit. Put them down a little bit. Don't need them that high. Let's undo that real quick. Probably should have joined together before. Let's go back. Bing. 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 Okay, so right now let's take all our purple and let's group them together. Okay, and now let's take our purple, we'll do a Boolean union, our purple, uh, with uh, our green. Okay, we'll back up one more time. Boolean union, purple's our first surface, <coughs> green's our second surface. And take our purple and hide it. Take our this surface here and hide it. And now we have it fine. I guess it didn't like me doing those cutters first. So uh, the next thing would be uh, checking to make sure that I didn't undo the the depth. So let's redo our cutter a little bit. And, and no, that's good. Uh, and we'll do our Boolean difference now. Uh, complete command. Okay, so that's our... F uh, no, 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 we don't want that. Uh, Alright. Boolean difference. First surface, enter. Second surface, enter. Boom. There you go. Enter. Alright. And uh, bring back out our gems. And there you go. You have a nice little pave signet ring. But the reason why I, I, I made it uh, from scratch this way, kind of like the old school way, was because really, uh, if you're, you have a a diamond out there, say a, a emerald cut diamond or something, you can do it this way, get that surface there, then do a smart flow and make your design and then flow it back up there, which we'll do on another day. But I hope this helps. Uh, if it did, please leave a, a like and subscribe and uh, um, share the video, uh, tell friends. <laughs> uh, <coughs> but I hope it helped. Uh, good designing and uh, we'll see you in the next video thanks for watching